All right, welcome back. It is time for episode three, Criminal Minds, Evolution. I should stop just calling it Evolution. We'll call it season 16 because they were renewed for another another uh, season. And why am I seeing 10? I thought I saw nine episodes before. Are they? Is this show still airing? But yeah, we're here for episode three, entitled Moose. This dog better be all right. I swear to God. Nothing better happened to this dog. What else? Is there anything else I was forgetting? No, I think that's about it. I've got I've got my little Toto here. You gonna protect me, Toto? That that bad man, he's gonna do something to Moose. Oh no. Oh no no no. Why does I feel like I got I feel like my my setup isn't where it usually is. Hold on. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a gosh darn second. Toto's looking at me like, what the fuck are you doing, Mom? Um, I think that's better. Oh, the dog left. The dog's leaving me. Excuse me. She said, I'm not down with this criminal shit. I don't want to watch serial killers. Mom, you're a weirdo. Toto, we gotta know how to protect ourselves, okay? <laughs> Here we go. Episode three, Moose. Run, Forrest, run! Oh, okay, here comes JJ and Luke. What's your 20? Oh! Watch yourself, JJ. Oh! Do not box him in. We need to take him alive. Suspect is fired on officers. We're not letting him go. Oh, he's gonna take himself out. If he thinks he's cornered, he's gonna... Yep. Oh, boy. Well, let's another one down. Nine left. Already liking some of these shots. No pun intended. <laughs> Genuinely no pun intended. Hey. 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 Oh, this poor little girl. It's gonna have such a reckoning later. Is she gonna be one of those kids that's like, No, my daddy could never. He would never. Oh, he did. You needed the backboard though, didn't you, champ? I want this guy dead. I want him dead. Oh shit! No, no, no! Fuck! Oh fuck! <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I was trying to put on the damn captions, and it uh, it started fast forwarding. So hold on, I'm gonna have to. Oh, I'm sorry to editing Jay, who's gonna have to uh, figure this out. <laughs> Okay, I can't use the rewind button to rewind, really. Just the arrows. Cool, Paramount Plus. Cool. Cool. Money troubles, huh? Dickhead. You talked about this, son. You gotta assert yourself. Oh, someone's getting hit here. What are you looking for? Good housekeeping? Just pick the one with the football phone. Move on. Yep. Oh, called it. This is a, this is his imagination. Yeah. Still got to see someone get hit. They both need to have their brains bashed in. Good job, buddy. See, sometimes you gotta push a little bit, just like with the girls. If you tell me this guy is somehow a vigilante trying to round up all the uh, the other serial killers and have them take themselves out, that'll make me a little bit happier about this dude. But he's still stalking but Tawny and Moose. Wait a minute, he's got Moose. Oh yeah, you tell him Moose. You tell him Moose. Toto, you trying to help? You gonna help Moose? I don't know. Just the way that the that he gave like a look, like something about something about that scene gave off like he would kill the other kind of guy sort of thing. So like, part of me wonders if he's trying to round up like serial killers and have them just take. Well, he's allowing them to kill, so it's not like he's just killing them off the bat. He's not dextering this. <laughs> look, I, 
I know it's fast. I don't mean to pressure you. It usually it is. I'll, I'll think about it. Is Tara not the commitment tied up? I don't really remember much about Tara from the original, her original run in the last few seasons. What do we have on this fuckhead? Is this a curious? Sir, uh, I was. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Rossi calls him, all right? That f. It doesn't sound like coming. I found the sign. She tried. <laughs> She's trying to say it. We have seen a lot of self-radicalization due to isolation. Who said he's good profiling? Penelope Garcia identified the GPS transponders for 13 kill kits, the unsub buried around the country. With help from local police, we have recovered 10. Three of the kits were dug up before we were able to get to them. Oh, okay, so the other kill kits weren't even gathered yet. Okay. What's to stop him from just restarting the network again and again? And what you're describing sounds remarkably like a terror cell. Have you considered bringing in domestic terrorism? No shit, Bailey! What did I say last episode? Terrorism's expertise is in anti-government, anti-authority groups. And I mean, yeah. There's no evidence of that. There's here. different specific specifications of domestic of terrorism. We're killers yes. who are driven by compulsion, not politics. Serial killers are just a different strain of domestic terrorism. The BAU is the right resource. They need to prove it. I'll hold off the brass as long as I can. Thank you, sir. You two-faced little jerk. I am so proud of you. I love her. Whoa. Uh? Braxton Academy? We applied last spring. They sent 20% of their students to the Ivy League. Private school. <laughs> uh, can't afford that. This is going to break him. He's going to have to start killing himself again. We told her that if she got the grades and she got in... Elias, it's her dream. It's expensive. Hey, lockdown burned through most of our savings. Business is hey, not... I know, I know. We will figure it out. Okay, she's so excited. <laughs> but you don't understand. The bills are not currently paid, bruh. Oh, boy. Oh, hey. Uh, <laughs> wouldn't you be more comfortable in the high-tech room? You know, I need to burn more sage and rosemary and juniper and salt the corners. You know what I learned in startup culture is that it's good to be social while you work. Also, we need a foosball table. Okay. Um, so how did you I love them. Cam, I need more work. My little girl just got a big opportunity and we're trying to make it happen. Yeah, about that. And you fired. And that's why you need to put me back on the road. I'm the best sales engineer that you have. Actually, Elias, your role is one of the ones that's going to be eliminated. Yep. Are you firing me? Yep. It's, it's a reduction in force. Oh, he's going to start killing again. Oh, no. Tawny. Oh, it's going to be her. Did he already kill Tawny? Or is he going to help Tawny look for her, her missing dog or some shit? That's awesome. I hear they have a killer lax team. <laughs> you know, you should apply. We could carpool. You know, don't get his hopes up. Those fancy ass schools ain't looking for a kid like Chad. Oh, I hope he Here kills go. this guy. If what? he's gonna kill anybody, he better kill this this fucking dickhead. There's no place for a clean cut all American kid anymore. They're all looking for the weirdos, the orchestra, the bird watcher, the alternative whatever. Mr. Sparks, I got into Braxton because I worked my ass off. Of course you did. You know, equality just means an even playing field, right? Hey, is there a problem? Nah, there's no problem. Your little girl just seems to think she's a grown-up. Old enough to recognize a sad drunk. Darling, go inside. Yeah, run off to mama. Shoo. Beat his ass. I'm gonna root for this man for one scene. Beat his ass, bro. All talk. He better no kill action. this guy. Blah, 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 blah. I'm genuinely rooting for the unsub to kill somebody. Shit. Good job, Joe. Stay away from my family, okay? Kill him! <laughs> At least that little bitch has the balls to stand up for herself. What a jerk. Somebody yeah, right? Right, wifey? Oh, she just said you should do something. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he has been activated. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, he's like, you know what? I should do something. You know what, wife? Thanks for the permission. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. Yep. 
Oh, wait, he's going to the phone. Who's he texting? Oh, he's calling somebody, though. That's suicide of Virginia. The guy in the woods, that was one of ours? Yes. Good. Then it's my turn. No. Oh, is it a duo? You told me if I gave you money, I could cut the line. We had a setback. I know. I watched the news. First, the FBI found your little treasure chest, then they found your transponders. How is that my problem? That's your problem because more and more of us have stopped following the rules, which means I have more and more loose ends to tie up, so you wait. Well, I just hope you have a good exit strategy. I do. By the time the FBI figures anything out, the network will be gone. Those who bankrolled you, what happens to us? I won't end up like the others. I'm not putting a gun to my head. Then let's make a deal. You send me the same amount of money as the first time, and I move you to the top of the list. Hmm. Okay. I feel like maybe he's trying to make sure his daughter will at least get to go to private school, which gives me like the smallest amount of respect for him. Again, if he kills that neighbor of his, I'll love it. And then he wrote a bunch of posts saying, even if damaged, he would dominate till the end. Gilcrest wrote this thing about defeating a security system and taking out a family. It's not just fan fiction. It's creepy auditions. Harris gets a paralytic off the dark web to go with the drugs he's already prescribed. Gilcrest gets a jammer. It's like murder Christmas, except, but here's the rub. Some of those kits were in the ground for ages. There's no way Sicarius would know in advance what people wanted in them. He's picking candidates based on kits he's already buried. Selecting the killer to fit the kit, not the other way around. Oh my God, Penelope, you are a genius. Increasingly so, it's the self-care. Yeah, but here's the chicken. It's self-care. It usually is. But we need the kill kits in order to track down our unsubs. Or maybe we don't. We may already know what's in those kits. Oh. Acid, strangulation, and fire. You're sure? The only killing methods that represented in the container are not represented in these kill kits are acid, strangulation, and fire. That would be fire. It said flammable. Is acid flammable? Could it be acid? I think it's fire. I, you have work? Emergency trip to Tulsa. There's a bug in the system I have to work out. Um, when will you be home? On Saturday. Love you. Love you. Suspect him, honey. Get out of there. Username Notorious over the past several months has made 37 posts about El Fuego. El Fuego. What's all this stuff about a customer? Is this guy some kind of salesman who lost it? No, he's former military. Probably PTSD. How do you know that? Because I know. Okay, all right, Ross. Rossi. So all I have to do is cross-reference details from these posts with records from the Pentagon and in mere seconds, we are gonna have pickles. Just denied. <laughs> Apparently, while I was away, the DOD decided to patch that hole in their firewall I told them about in 2012. Guess they decided to take cyber more seriously. <laughs> I might have another win. Tyler Green served two tours in Afghanistan, working military intelligence. He was a spotter for drone strikes. His job was to lure enemy targets into the kill zone, observe the attack, and report back. Mm -hmm. What are we missing? Uh, drone pilots and spotters refer to their assignments as coming from the customer. It might be the CIA or a classified op. It doesn't okay. matter. They're trained to give the customer what they want. And All now right. some of them suffer from PTSD because they're questioning what they did. If that's not serial killer training, I don't know what is. Well, the BAU is doing all the real work, you try starving us to death. And now that we're on the five yard line, you show up to take credit for the touchdown. It's your call. Just know that if we don't bring in DT and this goes wrong, I don't know how much I can protect any of you. Can we make it a joint operation? Emily. I have no choice. I, I, I got a location on. Green cell phone. We're all on the same team. Luke JJ. Luke JJ. Get this guy. We need to take this guy by surprise. You march your men out there in full riot gear, he's gonna see us coming a mile away. We'll take it under advisement. Wait a minute, they have a sniper? He's there as a contingency. You'd prefer no plan B? Deputy Director, we haven't confirmed the suspect is armed. If they take this guy out, we can't track him back to the ringleader. He is our only lead on the most elusive killer in 15 years. All they have to do is have one of the plainclothes BAU 
people walk down the street across like passing him and just snatch him up and put him in cuffs. That's all they gotta do. Up oh, fucking children. Group of kids. Oh, security camera, what are you gonna do, buddy? He's heading into the park. Look, JJ and Alvarez just have to walk over there, arm in arm like a couple, blend in, and then grab them. That's no, it. That's not your call. You're guys, just do it. Fuck these guys. Just do it. Target does not appear to have a detonator. We're going to have trouble getting a clear shot. Whoa, what the hell are you guys doing? Put the iPad down, JJ. You guys go walk over there. Let's go. Yes, please. Sir, we've got a problem. We have agents in the kill zone. Order them back. Nope. Sorry, DT isn't my command. <laughs> well, Look at his face! <laughs> you little bitch! You dickhead bitch! Uh, excuse me. Oh, uh, see? I think I'm lost. I'm trying to get to the Lincoln Memorial. What did I say? <laughs> what, did I, what did I say? There it is! Easy as! This afternoon, agents with the FBI's domestic terrorism unit apprehended an associate. Every time I see a wide shot where you can see how tall this guy is, it fucks with my brain because when... No offense to the actor, but like looking at him, his face does not give off the fact that he is that tall. The BAU caught Tyler Green, you wank weasel. There is no place you can run. Just goes to show if you want something done right, sometimes you gotta do it yourself. Okay. You want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. If you're gonna do something, you better kill your fucking neighbor, bro. I'm getting impatient. Considering the unit did all the legwork that caught our lead suspect, I think they've acquitted themselves. And in the process, oh. it wasn't my call, but I stand by it. No, you didn't make that call, Ross. He did. I'm relieving him of his position as head of the unit. You need to find a new team leader. Someone who will report directly to me. I found someone. Me. Who? Me. Section chief. Get I make all staffing Get decisions. Emily. And my decisions are final. Yes, they are. It also means I can fire you, if given cause. Emily Prentice has come back from the dead. She can handle your ass, bitch. But you've never pulled your gun in the line of duty, have you? Never faced down a psychopath. You're a hedge fund manager with a badge. You have never done anything. So, when my team closes this case, I'm not the one who's going to need to worry about her job. Excuse me. Emily fucking Prentice. I love that woman. Oh. So it seems like you learned a few new words. Start of culture has its own lexicon. Sir, I have to put a malware scan on your computer. You know, I just, it, it takes me a little bit of time. With relationships i mean i guess a profiler would say i have trust issues a profiler would say that thinking that my friends were gonna get blown up i just i just wanted you to hold my hand oh <laughs> uh excuse me we got a problem no <laughs> Good thing you guys got to have your moment before JJ walked in and ruined it with more crime. Why would a serial killer be carrying a fake bomb? I don't know. And he's refusing to talk. Why is this not adding up? So CST found the actual volatile components from the kill kit. All neutralized made safe for disposal. Did he neutralize him or did, did, did you guys neutralize him? Not what? Who? Tyler Green, he spotted targets for the army. That's what he was doing in that park. Trying to lure Sicarius into the open. Meaning Green would have got him on camera, but we moved too early. Oh. That's a big leap. Can you prove it? All right, Tara. Let's see what you got. Who is she, Tyler? That's your sister. Yeah, I was going to say sister. She went missing 15 years ago. According to your personal history. I don't know. He wants revenge. You know what I think? Based on your behavior, I think you figured out 
who killed her. You didn't join that network. You infiltrated it to find Sicarius. We on the same side? You people ruined everything. Oh my God. He's the one. For yeah, he's the one who sent her the stuff. I guess Penelope's gonna have to go into the interrogation room, huh? You know, there was a time where I would have gotten a real rush out of this. Just escaping the benign minutia of everyday life with the exhilaration of murder. Now it just kind of keeps me level. Especially when people let me down. Oh, he's but got somebody chained up. I saw chains. Not. Yeah. It better not be the fucking dog. It's, it's got to be the neighbor, right? I see arms. Okay, it's human. Good. All right, I don't understand what is so difficult about following a few simple rules. I mean, it's not hard. I did it. With you. Ah, good. good. Please. I'm not the guy. I'm not Hal. Oh, that's... You are tonight. Oh. I'm not. Oh, it's not... It's not the fucking neighbor. God damn it. Also, because Moose here will not leave a body. Oh, please, no! But mostly because you look a lot like my next-door neighbor, Hal. Who's an asshole. <laughs> Clearly, I can't go and kill him because that would be breaking way too many rules. <laughs> what the fuck? No, oh, that's the end. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to end. Oh, that was a shorter episode. It was only 43 minutes. Okay. All right. Oh, I wonder, because the first two episodes aired on the same day. They were a little bit longer. Okay. It looks like they all vary. It depends on the episode. The next episode's 47 minutes, but then we get back to a 52, a 55. Yeah. It all kind of varies. That's good. That's nice. That's why I like... Uh, the potential for streaming services because they're not stuck in that strict 42 to 44 minute uh, airtime. They can take their time. They can add a couple extra scenes if they need to make stuff, you know, pace it out, stretch it out, make it feel right. But okay. All right. That was Moose episode three of season 16 of Criminal Minds, Criminal Minds Evolution. Um, yeah, that was that was uh, an interesting episode. Uh, some twists and turns there. Uh, I am I want the neighbor dead. That's what I want. I'm cheering for our our main unsub Sicarius to kill the neighbor to kill Hal. Okay, if he's going to do anything that I'm going to appreciate, it's going to be him killing his neighbor. <laughs> That's it. That's what I want. <laughs> um. But then, yeah, what else? Uh, we had Tara and her girlfriend being found out. Makes it a bit uh, uncomfortable at work when you're not uh, telling your bosses <laughs> you're in a relationship. You get a little sticky. Um, but they're going to move in together. Very cute. Uh, what else did we have? My, I'm predicting maybe Penelope will get put into an, inter an interrogation room with that... Uh, with the uh, informant guy. Uh, and that's an interesting little twist that uh, this guy would have uh, mil a military background, have a sister that got murdered, and then turn it around to use his background to infiltrate and uh, get into this ring. So interesting, interesting. Um, I guess that also answers my question I had at one point. He must have neutralized the uh, explosive stuff because he wasn't intending to use it. Um, not the BAU. I was confused whether he had done it or the BAU or whoever had sw swooped in there to grab it had done it. Um, okay. But I'm, I'm, I'm a little confused. What I'm confused about is Moose. Like, where's Tawny? Where is Tawny? She also said in the last episode that Moose was a, 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 a nice boy. So, uh, I don't, I, I don't know. 
I'm going to need a little explanation on that whole thing at the end. Like we saw the dog at the beginning ish of the episode in the crate barking his head off with the music blaring. So is Sicarius like training him, like trying to drive the dog crazy. So it'll just attack. Like that's, that's the assumption I'm making, but is there something I'm missing there? Like it, it, that, that's it. Right. There were a lot of shots I really liked. Nothing, nothing too drastic really stood out to me this episode as far as like, uh, Sean Cop, shot two like amazing shot compositions that I really really loved, or, or camera moves that I really really loved. Um, I did like that they were keeping it uh, as like a one on him in the uh, storage container, uh, when he had the look alike uh, chained up. I I noticed that. That was a nice one take of him just kind of walking and pacing back and forth. That was probably uh, the one bit that I noticed the most uh, as far as like the the cinematography, like uh, more complex cinematography goes. Uh, so I like that. Uh, the show still looks great. Um, but yeah. Uh, was there anything else? What else? What else happened? Oh, and fucking Bailey sucks. Bailey is just fucking annoying. It's really funny because I can see him in the thumbnail of episode five. And if I didn't know, if I hadn't watched the first three episodes to have expected Bailey, he kind of looks like Hotch in that thumbnail, <laughs> but like a baby faced Hotch. <laughs> is that what they were going for? Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to get two episodes done this week. Uh, I might not, but maybe next week we'll get two episodes and I will progressively catch up. I don't know how many episodes they're going to do. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited to continue. I'm excited to see where this goes. Oh, no spoilers in these in these thumbnails. Let me get out of there. <laughs> oh, now it's going to start playing sound. Oh, God. Get, get back. Oh, fuck. <laughs> It's it's still it's still playing the sound. My God, Paramount Plus has the worst streaming service. Like their their app is horrible. I would watch more shit on their service if their app wasn't so trash. My God, but yeah, uh, I want to know if you've made it this far. First of all, if you have made it this far and you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and do that. Hit that like button for me as well. Feed the algorithm gods as best you can. Uh, but I do want to know down in the comment section. I Oh, I forget who it was last week. But somebody let me know that their uh, favorite era of the team was the original team. And uh, I, I have some fond feelings for the OG team. Uh, you know, as far as all of the, the agents that we've had over time, uh, Gideon and L weren't bad. I didn't dislike them. But my preferred era is when they had is uh after after Gideon and L left and they brought in Prentice and then Rossi. That crew Prentice, Rossi, JJ Hotch, Morgan, Garcia, and Reed. That's my core. That's my that's my core team. Those are those are my faves. Um and then because I also, I feel like I, at one point I was going through like the seasons on IMDb and I saw a, a, th a, a an episode, um, episode poster, whatever the fuck, the, the thumbnail for the episode on IMDb. And I, I saw Jennifer Love Hewitt's ass and I was like, oh, I fucking forgot she was on this show at one point. Like, what the fuck? I also, no hate to the actress, but that the the chick they brought in, the blonde chick they brought in after they got rid of JJ and Prentice, and then the fucking fandom had an uproar over it. That lady they had in there for like a season, I also can't stand when she's in the episodes. I really did not like that character. Again, no shade to the actress. She did fine, but I've, I I remember being so upset when they took they took AJ and Prentice away, and I don't remember in which order they left, but when they left, I think it was Prentice first, and then AJ went or AJ JJ, they well, both they they let the actresses fucking go because they didn't want to pay them. <clears throat> but them putting those two back was the best thing they'd ever done on the show. <laughs> But yeah, I forgot. Like sometimes you forget that I feel like there might even be a couple other people I'm forgetting that did that had stints on this show. But all of, of all of those people, I do really like Tara and uh Luke. 
So I'm glad that they are back. I don't really remember Simmons. I'm sure I would uh, appreciate him if he was here as well. Uh, but I really don't. I like I've said before, I'm not. I'm a little. I'm a little hazy on the last uh, few seasons. All I remember is them trying to do the Reed and JJ thing. Uh, seasons and seasons too late. <laughs> Anybody else feel like kind of weird about that? Like I didn't hate it, but I also I was also like, why? <laughs> I feel like they I feel like they used it on an unsub and like it got them out of a situation which was like what I think I liked about it but then I feel like they tried to push it a little bit too much in like the personal bit and that felt a little weird. But yeah. But yeah, that is officially going to be it. <laughs> so for real this time if you made it this far and you haven't subscribed, do it. Just do it. Save yourself some time trying to find the new episodes when I post them. Hit subscribe. <laughs> Um, other than that, I hope you all have a good day. I will see you in the next episode, unless you do subscribe, in which case I will see you tomorrow. Actually, who knows? Uh, probably tomorrow, though, whenever this gets posted, because I will be streaming Wednesday through Saturday this week. So, uh, yeah, check it out. I'll see y'all later. Bye. <laughs>